Hi, this is Mike Clement from Greater Sum. Today we're going to be looking at the decompose conditional refactoring and using this code that you see on your screen as an example. The decompose conditional refactoring is a technique that allows us to make our conditionals more clear and expressive. So we're going to start here at line 31 and we can see here that this conditional says if input mod 3 equals 0. Now if you're not familiar with the modulus operator, all this is saying here is it's checking to see if the input is a multiple of 3. So what we want to do is we want to give this a better name. Right now it's, you know, it's just code, and so we want to give it a name by extracting the logic that is here into its own method. So I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to be using a tool called Resharper. Um, I'm going to go do Control shift r and we'll bring up the refactor this menu. I can go ahead and do extract method. And it's going to bring up this extract method dialog. Now here I have the opportunity to give it a name and like we were saying what this is literally is it is checking to see if it's a multiple three. And so right now we're going to just give it that name. So we've given it the name multiple of 3. Down here below we can see that we have a preview of what the new method is going to look like. And we can see that we're taking the contents of the conditional and moving it into this method. And we can see that the we have this new method called multiple of 3. And now here on line 31 it reads if multiple of 3 input return fizz. Now this is telling us what it is doing, but it doesn't tell us really what it means. So what we want to do is we want to think about what this particular conditional means within the context of the problem domain that we're trying to do. And in this case, we can look here on line 33, and if this thing is true, we're going to return fizz. So in order to give it a name that is expressive of what it is in the problem domain, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename this using Resharper again. And in this case, I'm going to change the name to should fizz. So now it reads if should fizz input return fizz. So we're going to go ahead here and extract a method, name it should buzz. Again, we have our preview and we have our new method. And so now it reads if should fizz input return fizz and if should buzz input return buzz. Now these names may not be the best names, but as we go through the process of continuing to write our code, we're going to discover if there's a better name. And so it's more important to incrementally improve the name than to try to think up what the absolute best name is and spend a lot of time because oftentimes it just reveals itself. Thank you for spending some time with me and talking about the decomposed conditional refactoring. This was Mike Clement for Greater Sum. Thank you.